Hello everyone, it's Constance. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Constance. Happy birthday to me. Yes, it's my birthday. Wow. 48. What a trip. 48. I, I just, I'm mind blown, honestly, to tell you the truth. And I guess overall, for one, I'm, I'm definitely glad I've made it this far. Um, I have no regrets. Um, everything in my life that has happened has brought me to this moment. So, I'm lucky and happy to be alive and in relatively good health. And I have amazing support from family, uh, an amazing husband, two wonderful fur babies, and countless friends that I adore. And that's all I can really wish for. So I woke up this morning and got to open my presents uh, from my husband. Uh, he gave me these earrings. They're super cute. He also got me this action figure, uh, Bishop from the X-Men 97 line from Marvel Legends. I get to review this at some point. And then, he got me this vinyl record of my favorite band of all time, Delta Ray. And this is a vinyl exclusive, um, and it's a live concert. And there's 14 songs on two discs. And I've only listened to a little bit of it thus far. Um, but I know the rest of it's going to be good. I mean, because Delta Ray is my favorite band of all time. There's a reason for that. And I was really super excited for a couple of reasons. One being that they recorded uh, or performed their uh, cover of uh, Fleetwood Mac's The Chain, which I think is one of my favorite cover songs of all time. Um, that's on there, and um, one of their more popular songs is called Dance in the Graveyard. And um, they put a different spin on it during their live shows. And they did that as well uh, for this recording. So that was really nice. So I'm really excited to listen to the rest of it. Um, it's just our, uh, our record player is smack dab in our living room. And my husband works remotely and often has meetings throughout the day. So it's not like I can just listen to music um, as I'd be interrupting his work day. Um, so, and I just got it today. I don't need to listen to all of it all at once. Um, although it, I'm going up to, <coughs> excuse me, my hometown in Kalamazoo on Saturday, so my mom can celebrate my birthday with me, and maybe we'll take up the record player and I can play it there, because my mom likes Del Ray as well. So yeah, maybe that's, that's an idea. 
So, um, other than that, um, I took a long, long, hard nap today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the weather has been really super weird. Yesterday, it was 70 degrees and sunny, and today we had a low of 25 degrees with snow. Um, <laughs> Mother Nature, what are you doing? Um, so that's really kind of played, <coughs> excuse me, havoc with my sinuses and allergies. So I've been having to deal with lots of drainage and mucus and all that growth stuff. Um, but, um, took my nap and then, uh, woke up, got ready, and my husband and I went and saw Wonka. Um, it's been in theaters since December. Uh, however, uh, with what is currently playing, it's the only option my husband really would go for. Um, I really want to see Argyle. So maybe I'll, I mean, I'll just have to do that on my own time, which would be fine. Um, and Wonka was okay. I, I was expecting more out of it than what it was based on what I've heard other people and other reviewers talk about. It was okay. I'll have to see next time I get, get on Letterboxd, um, see what other people had to say about it there, and then I'll kind of make my final, final rating on Letterboxd. I'm really enjoying that site. It's a lot of fun. So now it's just a matter of relaxing and... Um, oh, I did talk to my mom today. Um, found out some interesting details about my family. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but, yeah. It, it was a really good day. Um, a really, really good day. And I'm very thankful to everybody who reached out and wished me a happy birthday. It's been, it's always overwhelming. Like, how many people just really care enough to say something on your birthday. It's really, it's really thoughtful. So, yeah. That is it. 48. Yikes. <laughs> it still floors me. I remember back in my youth uh, thinking that 30 was old and I would never live past 30. Um, I just couldn't envision my life past the age of 30. And here I am 18 years after the fact. And I still feel like I'm 30. Um, I don't feel like I'm 48. I'm starting to look it. Um, I've noticed more and more over, like, the last six months or so that, um, my face is showing. My face is showing my age, and I'm not sure if I'm okay with that, um, I do have some skin creams and whatnot that I should be better at using, but I'm not, so I have only myself to blame. Um, and not to say I don't use them, uh, just not as diligently as I should, or want to, I should say. But yeah, there's that. So, I'm going to say adieu for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you all.